Hey guys, it's Carnage 6, and yes, I'm back. I'm not dead. I'm still here, and I have been away a long time, but hopefully I'm going to try to make up for that, and as you can see in front of you, I miss quite a lot of sci-fi block box unboxings, so this video is just to catch up, and we're basically going to go through this really quickly. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on each box, but I thought you guys would want to see what I got in the sci-fi block over these past months that I've neglected to make a video, so anyway, let's get to it and let's start going through this rapid fire. Okay, so guys, like I said, I'm just going to go through these really quickly. I'm just going to rapid fire go through. I think I have five boxes to get through, so let's get caught up on the sci-fi block. And of course, you know I always like to start with the t-shirt. And this one is, this is kind of interesting. It looks like a 20,000 leagues under the sea kind of thing. That's pretty neat. I like the design of that. Let's see what else we got in here. What is this? We got a pin. It is... I'm not sure... Here, let's get this a little bit closer. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be a specific movie or something. If it is, I'm not sure what it's from, so maybe you guys know. Next up we have... What the heck is this? This is what... Oh, that's cool! Okay, I really like this. It's actually a tie, but it's the Death Star uh, blowing up Alderaan. Where's the Death Star? Oh, see, look, the Death Star is right up here. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? There's a Death Star up there. And it's shooting over this way and blowing up Alderaan. <laughs> I gotta say, that's really neat. I like that a lot. Um, then there's something in this box, this black box. It says it's a Nerd Block exclusive. Hang on, I need a pair of scissors. <coughs> okay, so what is in the black box? I don't know. Let's find out. Next up, what do we have? We have... Oh, okay, look at that. That's that's a, a Star Trek Rubik's Cube a Borg puzzle. That is awesome. I'm a huge fan of Star Trek, and I do love the Borg. The Borg are like my favorite enemies in Star Trek. Ugh, see, look at that. But the, the weird, the funny thing is, if you try to solve this puzzle, look, how are you going to tell when it's solved? They all look, all the sides look like the same design, you know what I mean? <laughs> so maybe that's the joke, I don't know. But it's cool nonetheless. And next up we have here something from Terminator. I don't know what this is. Terminator. Artificial intelligence. The Terminator. It's a nerd block exclusive as well. So let's open it up. And see what it is. We got more silver things. Oh cool. It's a uh, endoskeleton. Can you see that? Endoskeleton shot glass. It's silver. That is amazing. I'm pretty sure the other one's the same. Let me just check. Yep, it is. It's the same design. That is cool. I'm definitely liking that. I'm not going to bother reading the pamphlets with each box because they're mostly... I don't know what order these came into my house, so... Oh, okay. The, the Death Star thing was actually a pencil holder. It looked like a candle holder to me, but whatever. I guess you can use it for whatever you want. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read the coming soon, coming next month, because it's not, I don't know which, which order these boxes came in, so it probably won't be accurate, but let's get to the next box. And here we go, rapid fire. Uh, what in the hell is this? This is, uh, looks like, a, this is another nerd block, block exclusive, and it says when dinosaurs, pretty sure it says when dinosaurs ruled the earth. This is a Jurassic Park thing, is that, is a Jurassic Park um, is it a Jurassic Park scarf? I'm not sure. Hmm, let's see if I can open it. And yes, that is exactly what it is. That's pretty cool. It's actually a scarf. And it is kind of cold here in Canada, Toronto. See, look, when dinosaurs ruled the earth. This is from 
the first Jurassic Park movie, it's like a banner that's at the end. So again, that's pretty awesome. I'm digging that. Oh, and there is a shirt in here. Let's take a look at the shirt. Oh, this is cool. It is a unicorn, origami unicorn. If you don't know, this is from actually Blade Runner. It's a Blade Runner t-shirt. So that is cool. Another one of my favorite movies. All those moments will be lost in time like tears and rain. That's what it says on the bottom of it. Another cool thing, definitely liking that. Now, what else do we have? Okay, this is another pin, a, um, a sci-fi block exclusive pin. And it's just of a little alien guy. I don't know if he's, it's an alien abducting someone, so that's pretty cute. Oop, I'm hitting my stuff. Next up, we have a Judge Dredd. What is this? A book. It's a Nerd Block exclusive too. Judge Dredd Year One Omnibus. I thought it would be like a comic reaper, but it's actually a novel. I don't know, man. This is like a Judge Dredd novel. That's that's amazing. <laughs> Never even knew they had a Judge Dredd novel. Oh my god! The next thing I see is really friggin' awesome. I can't believe it's in the this. This box, what the hell? It looks like a DVD. Oh my god, it is, I think. Look at that. Oh my, wait a minute. Yeah, look at this. It's a tin, it's a metal tin set of Mystery Science Theater 3000. If you don't know that series, it's, they kind of play like crappy old movies, sometimes crappy old sci-fi movies. And then the anime characters here, and the host, they kind of make fun of it during the whole show. So it's like a comedy show. But look at that. Holy crap. Turkey Day Collection. It is. It's a DVD set. It's a tin, metal tin DVD set of Mystery Science Theater 3000. It's got these uh, movies on it that they make fun of. That's amazing. And the tin is like embossed and stuff. Wow. This is this is amazing. I'm glad. Like, I'm shocked that they would throw this in. Holy crap. Definitely, this is my favorite block so far. Again, we got the advertisements, which we don't care about. But there is one more thing in here. If I can get it out... And it is an art print. Look at that. Okay. This is like, oh, I get it. I think it's like, wait a minute. This is kind of weird. Okay, so it's like a zombie version of Star Wars with the Death Star up there. Okay, that's kind of weird, but all right. And again, we don't need to take a look at all the little pamphlets and stuff because they won't be accurate anyway. Let's move on to the next one. And now, as you can see, the sci-fi block actually started to change the look of their box, which I like. It's got the little um, shadows of different uh, sci-fi characters, which is cool. Robocop, my favorite. Let's take a look at this new box. Okay. Wow, we've got a, another t-shirt. Oh, this is cool. This is a t-shirt made to look like a sweater. And on the sweater, it's got Godzilla. Look at that. That is cool. Can you guys see that? I hope you can. That is cool. I really like that. <laughs> nice. All right. Now, what else do we have? We've got this. Oh, this is cool. Again, I'm a huge Terminator fan. This is, I don't know if you can, hopefully it's not a glare. It is an oven mitt, actually. It's designed to look like the hand of the endoskeleton in Terminator, in the Terminator series. That is cool. I'm definitely going to be using that. That is awesome. Now, what else do we have? Oh my gosh. This is this is another good block here. This sci-fi block is really knocking it out of the park. What is this? This is a figure. Oh my god. Look at that. Vinnie Mates? Nerd block? Mass Predator. Look at that. That is awesome. Wow. Again, I'm a huge fan of Predator. And to get this cool little weird... I don't know, you can see he's kind of like super deformed in there. But this is a cool figure. To get this figure in there, that is amazing. Holy crap. What else do we have? We've got this little badge. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. It's X-Files. And again, it's a Nerd Block exclusive. You can have uh, Scully or Mulder's FBI badge. Really cool X-Files stuff. Now we've got something else in here. This is Interesting, I don't know what it is, but it has to do with Alien, and that is a favorite of mine. What is this? Okay, in space, no one can hear you scream, yes. Oh my god. Okay, I have to open this up. 
I'm sorry, but this is just too cool. I had to open it up. It is like a pen and paper set. Can I even open it up? Hopefully I can. <clears throat> Based on the first Alien movie. Now look at this. See, it's got the guy from the first Alien movie who had the chest burster coming out of him. And the pen is the chest burster. You see that? I don't know if that, hopefully that'll focus or something. See, look at that. That is amazing. So, you, to hold the pen, you put it in the guy's chest like that. See, and then it looks like, whoop! Dropping everything. Then it looks like the guy, the scene from the movie where the chest burster is popping out of his chest. Oh my god, that's crazy. I love that. It's an awesome idea. What else do we have? We got something else in here. What the heck is this? Oh, this is cool. Look at that. We get a Rogue One calendar. Nice. I never buy calendars for myself, so that's cool that they included it. Because I would never buy one for myself. And there's some of the designs. This is a 16-month calendar. Awesome. Definitely can use that. And again, all we have left is the little papers, which I'm not going to show you. No need to. And let's move on to the next one. <clears throat> Again, guys, I don't know if these things are in order, so I might be getting them in completely the wrong order. But anyway, let's take a look at this. Oh, we got this. What the hell is this? This is huge and heavy, whatever the hell this is. What is this? Game of Thrones? Oh, sorry. I keep on hitting my light here. <laughs> this is... What the hell is it? Map of... Oh, okay. Map of... Westeros and Map Marker Magnet Set. I thought it was like a, judging on the pieces, I actually thought it was like a magnetic chess set, but I guess it's like, is it a game? Not just a magnetic map and markers. That's cool, so I guess you just put where the people are taking over, what, what you know, which different uh, faction holds which part of the land. I guess that's what it's for, I don't know. It's neat, but I don't know what I'd use it for. Next, oh, here we have the t-shirt. Oh, this is cool. This is kind of a um, Stranger Things inspired t-shirt. It's the Demigorgon from Dungeons and Dragons. And as you know, if you watch Stranger Things, which you should, because it's an awesome show, they played this, um, this uh, game, Dungeons and Dragons, in the series. And the Demi Gorgon had a big part to do with the series. I'm not going to say why, but it did. If you haven't seen it, go check it out on Netflix. And now we have, look at this, Hobbit 3D playing cards. That is awesome. Nice. Look, you can kind of see how they, hopefully you can see how they're supposed to look there. That is neat. So they're like lenticular playing cards. That is cool. I've never had a set of those. Again, we've got another exclusive pin. I don't know if it's an exclusive pin, but it's a Dungeons & Dragons pin to go along with our Stranger Things t-shirt. That's cool. Nice. And, wait, we, there's more. It looks like there's a book in here. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is Doctor Who book, The Good, The Bad, and The Alien. So this is like a, a story from the from this doctor, Matt Smith, isn't it? I think that's who it is, yeah. The newer Doctors. I'm more familiar with the older ones, although I am catching up on the new stuff too. But there's more. There's still more. What in the heck is this? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's, a, okay, look at this. It's a, it's a wallet. It's a Harry Potter wallet. That's cool. Nice. It has a little fake credit card in there too. Cool. Is that it? No, there's a couple other things in here too. Wow. Okay, so there's some postcards. What in the heck? Okay, they're like NASA. I don't know. They're like, it says they're like NASA postcards or something. So I'm assuming these are all the designs. They seem to be like space inspired. That's pretty neat. I'm not a big postcard guy, but it's pretty cool. And lastly, we have an art print in here. And that is... Oh, look at that. <laughs> It's like uh, Alien and Harry Potter, and Harry Potter, Alien and uh, Lord of the Rings kind of mash up with Gandalf trying to stop the Queen from going over the bridge. You shall not pass. 
You know that. You must have seen that movie. And there's something else in here, too. What the heck? Oh, it's got a magazine now. A Nerd Block magazine. Wow, i never seen them include that before. That's pretty cool. It's not very big. I guess it just tells you what... Oh, it's giving you, like, the origin of the Demigorgon and what came in this block. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool way of doing the, um... Showing you what was in the block. That's awesome. Again, we don't need to see the stupid cards in there. No one wants to see that. So, we're on to the last block now. Now, this one is really weird because I guess in the time that I got it, they must have changed the name. Now it's called the Sci-Fan block instead of the Sci-Fi block. I don't know why they changed the name. But hey, it's the same thing. Let's open it up and see what we got. And again, I'm going to start with the t-shirt. This is cool. This is Slayer's 97 Club. This is a Buffy the Vampire Slayer inspired t-shirt. As you can see with the stake that's on the front of it. That's awesome. Now I see something else that I like. I always love figures. And here's a figure right here. It is, oh, if I can get it out. It is the Ghostbusters Marshmallow Man. And I don't know what the heck this fun edibles is. I guess it's supposed to look like a marshmallow and it's the Marshmallow Man from the movie. I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, an alternate universe exists uh, where food is king and pop culture are tasty treats. So yeah, they turn like pop culture items into food. So it's a Marshmallow, marshmallow Man as a marshmallow. That's pretty neat. Uh, definitely liking that. All my stuff is going to fly away here. Okay, what is this? What the heck? Is some kind of strap? Is it, does it go with something? I think it goes with something else in here, doesn't it? I don't know. Okay, wait a minute. No, it's just a belt? What? I don't know what this is. It's just a belt. I think. I hope. I don't know. It's a weird, like, belt or something. I'm not sure about that. And I don't recognize the symbol. It says Warner Brothers, so it's got to be from something Warner Brothers, but... I don't know, I'm going to have to read up at the end what, what the heck this was from. Because I don't know. Off the top of my head and going rapid fire. And this, I don't know, it's an alien something. Aliens, oh, it's like, I think it's like a bag. Is it a bag? What the hell is it? Oh, it's an apron. Okay, it's an apron. This is cool. This goes along with the other chest burster thing that I had. It's like an uh, apron for cooking. And it has a chest burster. See, it says alien down there. <laughs> That's cool. I will definitely be using that. I'm actually starting to cook myself. So that is the most awesome apron that I could ever hope for. Let's look. There's one more thing. And it's a big, huge book. Hellboy the Companion. It's, it says now a major motion picture. So this was obviously an older book. I thought it would be, again, it's got pictures of the comics. So I guess it's like... um. Tells you all of the, like, what he did and all of his, looks like his timeline of his life and all the people that he fought and stuff. That's pretty cool. I would definitely read that. I'm not that familiar with Hellboy, but I did watch the movies. And then here's the magazine that tells us what was in this block. And I'm curious to find out what the hell that, uh... Supernatural Bell. Okay, so I've seen a couple episodes of Supernatural, but not a lot, so I... No way I was going to get that one. And that's it. So anyway, guys, that was it for this uh, mega quick unboxing extravagance. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys, you know, saw some cool stuff. I'm sorry I was so late. I'll try to be on time from now on. But yeah, I really love, like, that. the thing that's the highlight for me was that Mystery Science Theater DVD set, the tin set. Oh, my God, that was amazing, guys. <laughs> anyway... Next time I'll be more consistent and show you each block when it comes out, but until next time, I'll see ya.